Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You know when I go out and I review FPV drones and I fly them, I take about mm, 5 to 10 LiPo batteries with me to go fly the drone. Because of flight time on FPV drones, the way I fly, eh, I get maybe like 5 to 10 minutes if I'm lucky on most drones. So for that reason, over in that corner, there's a whole pile of battery chargers because I have to charge up so many batteries really fast all at once. So by having a lot of battery chargers, I can get away with it. This video is all about a battery charger that will charge up two batteries at once. So this one I'm going to show you today was sent to me by Toolkit RC. They also gave me the little stickers up top, which I've placed on a lot of things I own. And this is the M6DAC. The reason they call it AC is because you can plug it into the wall and use your AC power at home, or you can use DC power out in the field. Now, this charger is similar, well, almost identical to one that I reviewed several months ago called the M6D Dual. That's a little pocket charger, very small, fits in your pocket. You take it to the field, and if you have a big battery, you can use a big battery to charge up all your lipos in the field. So in other words, say I got a call at the last minute, had to go flying, I could take that little tiny charger with me, go to the field, bring one big battery that's charged, and while I'm flying this, that big battery will charge up the smaller batteries that fit on the FPV drone. This one will do exactly the same thing if you want it to because it has that ability in the back. So it's, um, yeah, it's the best of all worlds type battery charger. It's full featured as well. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just do a review of this charger as if I was you. In other words, I bought some LiPo batteries because I have a new drone or I have new LiPo batteries and I got to charge them up and get going and get flying. So uh, here we go. Check it out. Here we have our M6D AC. It's never been opened. And here I have two six cell batteries and one four cell battery, all brand new. So I'm going to treat this tiny, tiny review as if I just bought a charger and bought some new batteries and I want to charge them up. So here we go. Super quick unboxing. Let's open the box, see what you get inside. Hey, it says Captain Drone right here. I stuck that on. That's because Toolkit RC sent me these stickers. But honestly, I haven't taken this out of the box other than to put a sticker on the top. So let's take this out and see what we get. So we have our charger. I'll get to that in a second. Let's see what's in this box. And back here we have our plug to plug it in the wall plus a USB-C cable. Yep, that's what it is. Anything else? Oh, and you have a super tiny little instruction booklet down here. Nothing exciting. All right, let's get to it. Let's check out the features on the unit really fast, starting with the back. So over here, that is for your power input. So it's AC power input, and that's probably what I'm going to use the most because I'm not going to take it out to the field. I have smaller ones to take to the field. So I will plug it into the wall and use AC power. If I took it to the field and had no AC power, then I have a DC input. I could power it with another battery or my car battery or something else. Up here is a USB-C out and that's why they give you this little thing. And it is very smart because whatever you plug in, it understands what it is and it knows what voltage it requires and will regulate the voltage and send exactly the voltage in watts and amps or whatever that is required for your USB device. And you can actually see it at the top here, what's coming out. So enough about the back, go to the side. That's just where air gets sucked in to cool it, go through and then it comes out here. There's a fan that's going to blow it out. It's going to get warm because if you discharge a battery or whatever, it has to convert that power to heat and the heat comes out here. And nothing on the bottom really, just more venting. And on the front, you can see, let me bring this close, XT60 connector here with an LED light to show you it's connected. Over here, another XT60 connector with an LED light. Balance port, balance port, and over here is something you're never going to use unless you buy the accessory. That's say something for heat detection. So, the front looks like nothing because we haven't turned it on, but let me just tell you the buttons here. You have a scroll wheel that you can scroll through the menus and push to get something else like an OK button on a mouse. And up here you have your back button and channel selector button. All right, so let's uh, get this all ready and plug it in and let me show you really quick. AC power, where are you on the back? Plug it in and let's see what happens to this baby. There we go. Ooh, the fan starts up and we're going to get our first display. Ta-da! Next, let's take one of these boxes here, the 6S battery boxes, and uh, let me yank out a battery. There we go. Brand new battery 6S. We're going to use this and charge this one up. So let me plop that down there. Take another 6S battery here. Uh, you know, that's not the way to open these boxes, but that's the way I open them. And we have our second one here. All right. 
So brand new, let's uh, see what the voltage is on these as well as charge them up. Here we go. Both batteries are 1300 milliamp power batteries. They are pretty much the highest quality you can get in an RC battery, LiPo battery, super, super powerful. And uh, out of the factory, let's see what they send them to me, what voltage, let's check this out. So you take your XT60 plug, punch it in the front and then take your little balance cable here and plug it in right there. All right, looking at my screen, I have both batteries plugged in. So you can see one XT60 over here and a balance plug goes to this screen a balance plug in an XT60 goes to this screen. So let's start with the left-hand screen. I can see here, looking over here, that the battery out of the box is 22.85 volts. But more importantly, I wanna look at the cells. There are six cells and here are the cells. When the cells reach 4.2 volts, they are fully charged. So you can see they are not fully charged, 3.8, 3.8, and they're all very close. So for shipping to me, uh, these, this battery is actually really good. Let's look at the next one. They all come out of the same company. And look at that, they're almost identical. 22.87 volts and check out each cell, six cells, almost identical. Really, really good. Now, something really cool on this charger is say you had a battery that was giving you problems and you wanna see if your battery is still good. All you do is you hold down this button here. Watch and watch, watch what happens. It's gonna check this battery, it's checking it. And it's gonna show me the resistance of each of the cells right here. So there's my resistance in ohms. So I got six ohms, seven ohms, nine ohms, five, five, seven. Uh, so basically all these numbers are close together. So this one is actually quite good. And if I wanna jump over and check battery number two, you just press this button. It switches to battery two, same thing, hold it down. Let's check to see if it's just as good. And here it comes up in a second. It's checking them out. What's the resistance? Six, 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 seven, seven, six, seven. So this one here is really good. This one's got a nine over here, which is a little bit off, but still I'm sure after I charge it up, it'd be great. So let's do that next, how to charge up these batteries. Okay, so we're gonna go back to battery number one. Click this, we're back in battery one. Press this down. And now we're in our menu to do what we wanna do. So it says up here, hopefully you can read that. It says battery type is LiPo, that is correct. How many cells are in the battery? Well, it's a smart charger. I have it on auto, it figures it out. Say I was a newbie and I didn't know, just leave it on auto, it figured it out. Which mode do you wanna use? Well, I do wanna charge, cause that's the most common thing everybody does with a charger. You only have pretty much three modes. Let me just show you here. If I go to mode, click this. Look, I have uh, charge, discharge and storage. So let me explain them right now, cause I'm gonna keep this video short. Charge is what you wanna to do to charge up your batteries to a certain voltage, usually fully charged, so that you can go out and use them. Discharging your batteries is what you do when you wanna take all that power out of these batteries and turn it into heat and bring them down to a really low voltage of your choosing. Sometimes really low, like so low that the battery is like almost dead and then you recharge it up so that it fixes any problems. You can also discharge your batteries into another battery. So in other words, instead of throwing the power away into heat, you can throw it away into another battery, which is very common. That's like recycling the battery. And then finally storage. If you're not gonna use your batteries for a long period of time, you just go down to storage, everything's on auto, hit enter, and it puts them into storage mode and you can put them safely away on your shelf and they won't catch fire and burn your house down. But for this demo, let me just show you charge. So I go down to the next item, end voltage. If you are new to the world of LiPo batteries, well, all LiPo batteries have an end voltage of 4.2 volts per cell. Just leave it at that. You don't wanna overcharge or undercharge, so leave them at 4.2. And then going down here, this is where you have to know stuff about batteries. So my batteries, uh, you can't see it, it's out of the picture. Let me just slide it this way so you can see what my batteries are. So my batteries are a 1300 milliamp hour battery. Just look for that big number there. Ignore all these other numbers, look for that one. So we have 1300 milliamp hours and we wanna turn that into amps because that's what our charger reads in. So 1300 becomes 1.3 amps. That's our charge rate for this. Really simple, isn't it? So let's just do some typical uh, quiz here. Say it was only 300. Say it was only a 300 milliamp hour battery. What would our charge rate be? Well, it would be 0.3 amps. That's what you would select. But since it's a 1300, it's 1 1.3 amps. See, pretty simple. All right, so let's do that now. Bring you back and we'll put you at 1.3. So current charge, it's at two amps. Don't want that. Let's go to 1.3. And five, oh, I went too far. 1.3, <laughs> there we go. 1.3, I've got it. Ta-da. And now we go down to the bottom Notice I have a one selected and then I have a two. So let's go down to that. We want to charge, let's say we want to charge both batteries. I have, hang on a second, I have two batteries that are identical here. So I don't want to go through all this again. I want to just charge both of them at that 
charge rate, power, everything. So let's select both of these. And we go over to the number two, press that, and it's selected when they're both white in color. They're both selected. Go over to start, hit start, and it says, hey, do you want to charge both batteries at uh, charge one to 25 volts? Yes, charge two to 25 volts, hit OK, yes. There we go, and the fan comes on because it takes a heck of a lot of power to charge these. So looking right here, that's our voltage of the battery. Voltage of the battery. Down here, we said 1.3 amps, so it's going to punch in 1.3 amps, 1.3 amps. This number is going to get smaller and smaller as it almost becomes completely fully charged. And then you go down here, you can see each cell is receiving power. See how they're flicking on and off? And when each of those cells becomes 4.2 volts, this thing is entirely fully charged and it will beep at you and tell you, hey, I'm entirely fully charged. Go out and have fun with your batteries. And if you look at the top of the screen going on the right hand side, you can see the little fan icon is turning and this is the temperature of this here unit going across. This is for your USB. I'm not doing anything with the USB at the moment, so it's always going to be at zero. And then over here, it shows what it's regulating the voltage coming in, 24 volts. So this is my AC power up here. Well, can you see it? That's my AC power coming in. It's not using 120 volts. It's converted it to 24 volts. And over here, it's showing how many watts. 2.1 watts is what it's consuming. And the cool thing I like on these battery chargers right here, that's your progress bar. So that you can look at this progress bar right here and you can see the percentage to completion right there. So this will be completed when that bar gets over here over here and we're all good say you're charging this and you want to speed it up and go faster you can speed it up and go faster so you select which battery you want so let me go over and select this battery i think i have that one selected press this button and then we can do some other little things current is at 1.3 i go it's taking too long i'm just going to bump it up to let's go to about 1.7 there we go and then we go back and now it should bump up to 1.7. There we go. Oh, I did this battery. Sorry, I thought it was on that one. So this one here is going to go up to 1.7. So this one will charge up faster than this one. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you really quick is if you want to change some of the parameters, the settings, this is how you do it. So to, in order to get into settings, I have to stop this. So I'm just going to press this and go over here to stop all. There we go. They shut off. Now I'm going to hold this down. And there we are into settings. So you have input settings and you can see these little down arrows. If I press that, there's my input settings. So if I go and use DC power over here, like plug it in up here with DC power, well, then I would change the input setting to DC power vice, the AC power I have up here. It has a really cool thing here, synchronous mode. Synchronous mode is when you want to run two cables off into one battery. So you're going to get max amps, max watts, and you can charge up a massive size battery really quick. Continuous work, I'll explain that really quick where's my fingers at continuous work if i had bought i don't know let's say i bought a hundred of these batteries and i wanted to charge them one after another after another well every time i plug them in i don't want to go through the menus so if i put continuous work just means i will continuously charge the battery so it's full i pull it out i put in another one hit the button it charges it no settings nothing it just goes for brightness right here you have your backlight i have it at six and it seems to work okay with the camera that i just set it for that for buzzer volume i have it at six it goes up to seven I guess I should change that to seven. There we go. Because a lot of times I'm away from my little uh, charger here. English for language. You have other languages, obviously. Um, for this here video, I left it on white background. Sometimes if I change it, see it's on light. I'm going to change it to dark. There we go. Dark background sometimes looks better on video, but you see you just get the shadow of my fingers and everything. So yeah, I can't really use that for the filming. So let me put it back on light. A lot of times when I'm charging in real life, I will leave it on the dark background. But for filming, I have to put it on light. Change that back. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Settings are quite detailed if you want to get into it, but for this video, no, because I've made so many of these battery reviews. All right, last thing I want to show you is I have one more battery here. This is a little uh, four cell battery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these batteries and I'm going to use one of these batteries to charge up this little four cell battery. So watch this. It's really cool. All right, so I have my two batteries we were charging up. We never did finish fully charging them, but uh, there's enough power to charge up a little battery. So let me just take one of these away and go to the back and plug one in here. There we are. And then we go this way and uh, you can see my face. And there we go. The unit is powered up and now it's ready to go. I can power up two batteries if I want with this one battery in the back. It will actually do it. So let's take our little four cell battery here. 
brand new. Take that out, plug it in the front here. There we go. So this entire unit is being powered by this battery and it has the ability to charge up this battery or two of these batteries if you want. It's that simple. So let's do this. Let's charge it up. So here on the screen, we can see the voltage of each cell. They're not at 4.2 and there's the entire voltage of the battery. So too simple, just hit this button and we want to charge it. So it's a LiPo battery, yes. Cells auto, yes. Mode charge, yes. And voltage 4.20, yes. And it wants to charge up at 1.3 amps. But as I mentioned, if you look over here, this is 1,550, so that's gonna be 1.5 amps. So let's go to that and change it to that. 1.5, there we go. And then we go down here. Yes, we selected that and start. And it should, yes, once again. And there we go, this battery at the back is now charging up this battery at the front. So if I was in the field, in my car, just hanging out, I had no AC power, that's how you do it. So it's really cool to have a charger that's AC DC like this, it's really good. Last thing to show you would be the USB connector. So I've plugged the USB-C in the back and the next one I've got a little DJI controller here and I'm just gonna plug in to charge it up and it will charge it up. You can see it's charging right here. Looks like it's fully charged. I guess I didn't have to really charge it too much. Oh, maybe it's not. Anyways, let's look on the front and see what this says. Here we go. If we look on the front, this little section is for USB. So we see 5.1 volts at 0.6 amps is what is being drawn out of this baby into this DJI device to charge it up and it regulates it automatically on this system. All right, so there you have it. If you wanna buy this battery charger because you think it's for you, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put links below this video. I believe there's a discount code as well. So check out below this video and you can get a discount code and get it for a lower price. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on a battery charger, I've made so many videos about battery chargers and how to use them and how everything works. But if you're still stumped and you have questions, just post your questions below and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, I will catch you in a future video with many more drone reviews. Till then, bye.